Hello, I'm Courtney Starr. Welcome to my workshop. Uh, this is a split top Rubo workbench and I wanted to show you some of the key features uh, that may be useful. So one of the first key components on the bench that you spend uh, pretty much most of your time at is called a leg vise. So I'm using Benchcrafted's hardware, which is just a lot of fun to spin. Uh, so you can see here, uh, you could fit your whole leg kind of in this vise like that, and so that's kind of the key benefit of this type of vise. Okay, just kidding. So this is what you actually use a leg vise for. So first, here's how easy it is to sort of change uh, position of your piece using the vise. But a leg vise is really handy anytime you need to work the edge of a board. So even though I was uh, kidding when I stuck my leg in here, uh, one of the key benefits to this type of vise uh, is that you get a whole lot of space for clamping stuff. So if you open it up, it's actually called a leg vise because this big screw uh, goes through the leg on the bench and this is called, Benchcrafted calls this a crisscross. This uh, enables the vise to slide nice and smoothly and it doesn't rack like this. So the second important work holding device is called the tail vise. It allows you to clamp yourself. You're gonna be thankful I don't normally talk in my videos by the end of this. So what a tail vise does, because uh, I guess it's kind of attached to the tail of your bench, uh, it has little dogs on the bench and you can place a piece of wood kind of adjust the height of the dog to whatever piece you're working on. And then at the end here, you've got a clamp. Uh, this, is the, this is the tail vise. So I can kind of pinch the work piece down. And now I'm able to work what is called the face of the board. Now the reason you have dogs sort of all the way down the bench is because it allows you to quickly pop up whatever dog you need, clamp it down, then you're good to go. Now another cool part about the tail vise is there's this sort of gap here uh, in, bet in between what's called the dog block and the rest of the, the bench top. So that little gap there means that I can clamp a board vertically. Maybe I just need to cut something on the end of it. So sometimes when you're working you just need to put a piece of wood down and have it stay put. So this is actually one of my favorite parts of this bench design, where you put these pieces of metal in, called a hold fast, you put it through uh, a hole in your table, and you just give it a couple whacks. So now this thing is not going anywhere, and in order to get this hold fast out, I just give it a whack, and it's good to go. This is where they get their name, hold fast. So now let's talk about this center piece of wood here. Uh, this is called the gap stop. So it's just a, a piece of wood uh, that has some notches out of it uh, that kind of sit on a rail, but if you kind of pull it up, uh, it gives you about a half inch uh, of space to kind of just push an object up against. So for whatever reason, I might need to just push a piece of wood up against there. Also, you can store your tools in it. So it keeps them vertical and uh, kind of easy to reach, but off of the actual work surface. So this thing is called a dead man. So what this is for, it kind of moves around like this, slides on this little triangular rail, and you can put a hole fast in any of these holes. And let's say I had a real big board. It gives me a little bit of support, whereas normally, you know, the vise would not hold that completely, but now because there's this support here, it's not gonna go down, and I can do whatever I need to to a large panel. So while I'm down here, I'll show you this ancient piece of technology uh, that the Benchcrafted design has in it, and it's called a shelf. So one other thing you'll notice about this bench is that it's very thick. This is a four inch top, uh, which is incredibly heavy. Now, being ridiculously heavy is nice because it won't move while you're working on it, uh, but that's also why I installed these wheels on it, so I actually had a hope of moving it around. Kind of like an aircraft carrier. One other note on portability. So each one of these tops is held against this rail and held together with one lag bolt and there's a mortise and tenon right here that kind of keeps everything still from shifting around. But the cool thing is, is this is incredibly to take apart, uh, which is nice because it's in my basement and I need to get it out of my basement at some point in my life. So you can disassemble the base using uh, a barrel nut piece of hardware that Benchcrafted sells. So there's a bolt that goes into the rail 
and there's a nut inside this piece of wood that that bolt screws into and keeps everything tight, but I can easily disassemble this whole bench if I need to. Well, thanks a lot for joining me in my shop. Uh, hopefully you learned something about the split top Rubo uh, workbench style. Uh, I learned a lot through this process. I didn't know much about workbenches before I got into it. Uh, so thank you Benchcrafted uh, for your amazing plans. Let me show you those. So their plans are ridiculously detailed. So I built this whole thing using their detailed plans, um, which is cool. So thanks for joining me. Let me know in the comments if you enjoyed uh, learning in this way or if you want me to just be quiet and make woodworking videos. See you next time.